Hey, low quality fans of a high quality Bruins team, that is a dub! Uh, Woo! I'm in a different hotel room. Uh, there's a story behind that. But this is my last lowest quality video. For now, at least. But that's a dub. That's a good dub. It's a. Uh, isn't it weird that it's kind of our signature win, right? It is kind of the first, like, hey, we competed with a really good team and we beat them. But we got outplayed by them the whole time. But we're going to take it because how many games have we outplayed other teams and lost? Outshot them 2-1, to one, but lost. Analytics are all in our favor, but lost. But we won. We won this game. And it's a back-to-back -back on a West Coast Canadian swing. And we get three points out of the two games. That's something to feel good about. All of my points from the previous video still stand. We need to split this up. A shorthanded goal, great. A power play goal by Jakey, you love to see it. And then a Grizz bomb, awesome, perfect. We, I want more 5-on-5 five five scoring. I need it. I need it. So we're going to get it. We got to split up our lines. That's just my feelings. Olmark, great game. In fact, I think over the past... Three games, he's close to a 9-4-0, somewhere around there. That is, the dude's coming together. And the fact that Carlo misses for a lower body injury, which is concerning, obviously, and John Moore slots in, and we still, the structure has been learned by these guys. It really has. The structure is now there. And we're locking it in. 40-something shots. I get that. Omar had to make some crazy saves. So again... Maybe it's not time to compliment the defense. But to clear and pucks out after those crazy saves, they're they're getting in the way of shots. They're still blocked shots. A lot of these shots are taken from the point. I feel good. I feel good about what our defense is doing right now, even with the 40-something shots. But the offense, the overpassing still remains an issue. Uh, you just can't rely on your special teams, which our special teams have not been world beaters anyway. We allowed two power play goals, I believe. That's another game that we shut down McDavid and Dreisaitl 5-on-5. Five five. I'll take that. Edmonton might not be that scary until you realize that, oh, wait, we're just Edmonton East or they're Boston West. Top line heavy. Doesn't really get a ton 5-on-5. Five five. I don't know. I haven't watched a ton of Edmonton this year, but there, there might be some, some comparisons. I know a lot of people are very upset about the referees through that game. They were terrible, and just like last time we played Edmonton, I think we got the better side of them. I think we really did, and I know there are some people that feel the complete opposite, and I get that. We all have a degree of bias. We do. Some of us are going to be closer to right some games, and then the other side, the opposite. What? Oh, uh, we're checking out a little late. Uh, they already know, actually. Thank you. I think I'm just going to keep that in the video. Should I just keep that in the video? I'm just going to keep that in the video. Anyway, uh, where was I? Referees. I know some people were upset about the refereeing in this game. And, yeah, I get it. They were terrible. They were really bad. I actually think, just like the first time we played Edmonton, that we had the better side of the referees. Even with that coil penalty, which was bad, a bad call, there was other stuff that got let go. I was watching the Edmonton broadcast, and it was easily 15 to 20 times that game that they were talking about how the Boston Bruins were getting away with, with penalties constantly. Now, I get, I get that Jack does the same thing. Maybe not to that quantity. Come on, guys. <laughs> like... At a certain point, you have to just call the game. And there were some good things about that broadcast, too. DeBrus' father, watching him get that goal. Very fun. It was very cute. Meh. Some of the other stuff left it to be desired. But we're all biased, right? We all have bias. We are all going to have those moments where we're like, well, my team's actually the disadvantaged one. And I know some people feel that about that game, that, that the Oilers actually got the better side of the officiating. We all have our own bias. We're all going to have moments where we feel differently about the game. And some of us are going to be closer to true on some games, and then others are going to be closer to true on others. That's just kind of part of it. 
I don't think officiating would be an excuse for either team, regardless of the result last night. There were a lot of chances going around, and if Edmonton won that game, which on the deserve to win meter I don't have the ability to edit anything into this right now. You should go check it out, moneypuck.com, go to the games, click on the Bruins, Edmonton won. The deserve, the deserve to win meter was not in our favor. But Omar just had a crazy good game. And Swayman's looking crazy good. The defense structure there. Andrew was just talking about this. we got to get the 5-on-5 five five scoring up. And how many years have we been saying this? We need more 5-on-5 five five scoring. So who are we talking to when we're saying that? Are we talking to Bruce? Are we talking to Sweeney? Are we talking to the players? I, I think I'm talking to Sweeney and Bruce. Bruce in the sense that Split the lines up. You have to. We just don't have a choice. Sweeney on the side of, bro, bring in some more stuff on the deadline. We need forwards. We need guys who can finish. Oh, oh, I, I almost I almost didn't mention this. I, I, this is razzle, a dazzle. I don't really have what I need to. I don't have notes in front of me, anything. And I didn't even get to watch the entirety. I watched most of the game. It's fine. Forboard. What was up with him last night? Forby was, I mean, he was doing some grizzly turns, some tight spins. His first pass was really good for a lot of it. He wasn't the one turning the puck over, keeping us in the zone. I thought that was, we could not clear the zone, and we were struggling to clear the zone. And Edmonton was doing a really good job getting on us. I didn't think Forbort was the problem. And again, maybe there's a player or two that I just wasn't, I couldn't see, or whatever it might be. But there was, especially in the third, there were a lot of moments where Forward just whipped that puck up. I was really impressed with some of his touch last night. That is weird to see. I like it. I'm proud of him. Um, I feel I feel good about him uh, doing that kind of stuff. And I still think he holds back McAvoy back and all that good stuff. But I wanted to shout him out for this game. Uh, that pretty much does it. I'm, this is just me rambling about the game. I don't know. I don't know if I'm, I got interrupted by the housekeeping. I don't know if I'm keeping that in the video or not. Uh, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna figure it out. But I'm excited to get back to my, my little dojo and do my thing. Uh, go Bees!